Hi, I'm Andrew Bailey, Curator of Collections here at the Pima Air and Space Museum. Today we're going to continue talking about aerial demonstration teams with the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds and the McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom II, the only aircraft type to fly with both the Thunderbirds and the Blue Angels. The Thunderbirds was the first Air Force-wide demonstration team. It formed in 1953 at Luke Air Force Base in Phoenix, Arizona. They chose the name Thunderbirds due to the strong Native American culture of the Southwest. They started with seven officers and 22 enlisted men and flew the subsonic F-84 Thunderjet. Their first supersonic aircraft was the F-100 Super Sabre in 1956. For a while, they could perform supersonic passes at air shows until the FAA banned them. They flew the F-100 for 13 years except for a short time of six shows flying the F-105. In 1969, they converted to the F-4 Phantom II. This came with a new paint scheme using a white base that could hold up to the heat and friction of Mach 2 flight. The McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom II was designed as a missile-armed fleet defense fighter for the United States Navy. In 1962, the U.S. Air Force selected the F-4 for its own use as both a fighter and fighter bomber. The F-4E is a greatly improved version of the Phantom with numerous improvements to the engines and electronic systems. The most recognizable change is the addition of an internally mounted gun for air-to-air -air combat mounted under the nose of the aircraft. This addressed the greatest combat weakness of the Phantom. The F-4E is the most produced version of the Phantom with a total of 1,387 built for the U.S. Air Force and foreign customers. The museum's aircraft was delivered to the Air Force on December 16, 1967. In May of 69, after going through a modification, it was accepted by the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds. It flew with the Thunderbirds until December of 1974. The rest of its career saw it flying with various tactical fighter wings and also converted into an NF-4E for use as a chase plane for cruise missiles. In April of 1994, it was loaned to the Pima Air and Space Museum by the National Museum of the United States Air Force. The Thunderbirds continued to fly the Phantom until 1974 when they transitioned to the Northrop T-38 Talon trainer due to the fuel crisis. They flew the Talon until 1983 when they transitioned to the General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon, a return to a frontline fighter. They have been flying the F-16 ever since. Millions of people have seen the Thunderbirds perform over the years. I remember the first time I saw them perform in the late 80s. I went to the Rochester International Air Show in Western New York with my father. I'll never forget seeing the bright red, white, and blue jets flying across the sky. In 2006, Nicole Malakowski became the first female pilot to fly with the Thunderbirds. Here at the museum, we have one of her flight suits on display with other Thunderbirds artifacts. The Thunderbirds often display various national flags on the side of their aircraft. The flags denote all the countries that the Thunderbirds have performed in. I hope you enjoyed this look at the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds and the McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom II. Please stay tuned for other videos about aerial demonstration aircraft in the museum's collection.